Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Papa Boris here, playing some more Retro Bowl. Now, the videos are going to start getting pretty quick, because I talked a lot in the first couple of videos explaining the various mechanics, at least as far as I know them to be. The game's documentation is crappy. Um, but now it's going to be games, and, and the games are pretty quick. Okay, so sometimes you just have a random thing pop up. This is a pretty bad thing. Either I find the player and lower his morale, or I lower the morale of the whole team. I, I will let his morale dip into sadness. I'm okay with that. Again, there's no documentation as to what exactly morale does. So, oh, look at this. See, this is my DL. He was too slow. So, oh, he was too slow again. Even if he'd been good, like a, like a high star guy, you'd still be seeing that a lot because your defensive coordinator kind of sucks. I'm about to get sacked. Okay, that was. See that jumping catch that my running back did? That's because he's good catching. If he didn't have good catching, he wouldn't have jumped and gotten that ball there. I'm going to try to improve my game. I was talking about this and kind of interrupted myself. Um, the thing is, you don't want to have like, oh, wow, wow, wow. He just broke a lot of tackles. Another reason to have a good running back. Sometimes you just give him the ball in the early stages of the game, and it's just like a free touchdown. Now here, his stamina cut out of him, but if I, oh, if I, if I had dashed up at the right time, that guy would have leapt and fallen on his face, and I would have gotten to keep going. Oh, my running back seems to be open again. Good lad. Oh, it got pushed out. I, sh I should have dove forward. He would have made it. I think I can actually probably get the ball to my tight end. It looks like this is... Yep, see, he was just wide open, so let's give him some experience. Get a touchdown with the guy. Yeah, I really wish that I knew exactly what morale did, because then I'd be able to make decisions more strategically. By the way, it's very lucky that Chicago fumbled the ball there. That doesn't happen very often. And the fact that they missed the, f the first down doesn't happen very often either because they had a high offense rating. So it's actually very lucky that they fumbled and then field golded. <laughs> field golded. Okay, so I interrupted myself a third time or a second time. Um, you don't want to focus on just one person because if that one person never opens, then you're just going to get sacked or you're going to throw an interception or throw an incomplete pass. You want to be able to like keep your eye on everything and then give it to whoever is available. So that's the problem with me is I'm gonna stop because actually I need to, I, I only have 26 seconds and we're on the on, so we're still on the wrong half of the field here to get a field goal. So like, if you just like hype, uh, me, my problem is I have a hard time keeping in mind the bottom guy. Like I'll keep an eye on the running back, the top guy and the tight ends if I have them. But the bottom guy, is like hard for me to keep an eye on him along with everyone else who I have. So it, as, as a result, um, I either hyper focus on him and if he's not open I end up screwing myself or I just ignore him and then I miss opportunities I think with 16 seconds I can do a first down maybe get a free touchdown with my running back who's wide open yeah, okay and so now I have a choice because the half is ending either I go for a touchdown from 25 yards away or I get a field goal let's go ahead and go for a field goal and I think that should be good nice Okay, so we're a touchdown ahead, and we have the ball. So if we can get a touchdown on this possession, the game is not completely locked up, but I would be in incredibly good shape. It'd be difficult for the computer to win without some luck at that point. The quarters are, sh are so short, and the time goes by so quickly that there's definitely like a clock management element to this game where you can sort of lock the game up and put it out of reach if you have a good enough lead at the right enough time. Oop, I actually ran myself out of bounds that time. Um, if this guy gets ahead of this guy, and this guy goes the wrong direction, I can maybe get a touchdown on this play. Let me see if that happens. Oh, no, he dodges it. Yes, okay. Now the stamina is catching up with me. Ah, oh, look at that dodge. Oh, yes. Good old D, whatever his name is. Now, one thing you can do if you want to be maximally strategic is when you are winning, you can practice doing your two-point. Wow, that is very lucky that I keep getting these interceptions. I mean, the dynamic difficulty is still very low right now because it's still a very early game. We're not going to be graced. Oh, look at that stiff arm. And the dive. Oh, no, nope, didn't dive fast enough. T. Winfrey. Yeah, that's actually a really good name because sometimes having a good running back in the early stages just gives you free wins. <laughs> you just, just click on the blue circle. And see, like that, look at that, six, six, six free yards half the way down to a first down. That's that's free winning right there. You know what, we'll just push this guy a little more. Dive, and there's our first down. Nice. 
So running the running the ball is nice because it kind of eats up the clock a little bit. Uh, is anyone going to be open today? Anyone open for business? Yeah. Okay, so see, I actually managed to get a lot of extra yards there by diving from the guy who was just about to tackle me. Oh. Oh, that's an interception. Oh my gosh, that was very close to interception. I think at a higher difficulty, that would have been interception. You have to be very careful because it might look like you're throwing right to your guy, but if the enemy is like in the way of the throw, they often will intercept it. So you have to make sure that you don't um, throw in a position that has an enemy kind of blocking the path of the ball. And that, that was very tricky for me. When I play now in my other save file, I throw interceptions pretty much constantly. That's a dynamic difficulty 16. It's just very hard to avoid. Okay, so finally we have a good option, so we can either improve his morale or praise the fans. It's that tricky choice, because it'd be nice to improve his morale. He is sort of my star player. I don't want him to get injured or fumble or anything. The fans are probably going to... Well, the fans will keep going up as long as I keep winning. So I'm actually going to praise him, get his morale up to the next, to the next tier, and um, just hope I can keep winning to get my fans up to where they need to be. See, by the way, at the bottom it shows you what the dynamic difficulty is. Okay, so my... Crappy wide receiver leveled up. Wait a minute, DC. Oh, he's my crappy one. So I think my good one is on top. That's good. That's very good. Why did I keep trying to throw the ball to him? Or was he on top? I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here, because he just sucks so bad, I am going to improve his catching because sometimes if you throw the ball correctly, they still just don't catch it. So I want to make sure he catches it and then we'll worry about the other stuff. Um, let's go to the front office. We can now improve the stadium. So when you improve it, that also gives you an immediate bonus to the... Um, fan bar. Okay, we're very close. If I win the next game, I'm going to get three coaching credits because it'll bump me up into the third tier. But that's in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.